Hello everyone and welcome back. This is game number two of the second series of the Grand Finals between Star Tree of Arbor and Indy Pride. This could be the last game of the tournament. If Indy Pride wins this, he wins it all and is going home with the Grand Prize. This is the second game, that means Tree of Arbor chose the map. It is Sakura Ridge, actually a pretty good choice here for his Yari Ashigaru Spear Wall. Though he did make some adjustments, he's over here in red as the Mori. Let's give it up for Sir Tree of Arbor. He brought his Yari Ashigaru Spear Wall, but a little different. He's brought some cavalry this time. Not quite as many spears, along with a couple of Naginata monks. You don't need as many spears. This is actually a great map for the Yari Ashigaru Spear Wall. If you can get up that mountain fast enough, these ridges over here make it a very uh, bottleneck sort of map, which is exactly what you want with that Yari Ashigaru Spear Wall. Looking at Indy Pride's side, he also brought a Yari Ashigaru Spear Wall. Very interesting. And the light cavalry here for Tree of Arbor in the red. Maybe he lost control of him. He's pulling back now, trying to get that wedge formation through. I'm not sure exactly what he was trying to do. Maybe, I think he was just trying to hold off Indy Pride and buy some time. Um, just throwing the light cavalry away to keep Indy Pride from advancing up the hill fast enough. But anyway, taking a quick look at Indy Pride's line. He's got a little bit of wiggle room, as if he loses this game, he's not out of the tournament. Uh, but he's brought a Katana hero here, and the rest are Yari Ashigaru and Nagiana Monk. So this will be a Rome, or a Greek style, I should say, phalanx battle between two spear walls. And it looks like that light cavalry diversion was probably worth it, because if Tree of Arbor can get the engagement here uphill, that'll work out very nicely for him. Let's look at the infantry numbers here. Uh, for Tree of Arbor, I'm counting eight Yari Ashigaru spear wall units. For India Pride, I am counting one, two, three, four, five, eight as well. So it's eight and eight along with three Naginata monks each. But that Katana hero could definitely turn the tide of this battle, as uh, actually Tree of Arbor doesn't have any more cavalry units. But Indy Pride brought a couple light cavalry. He's going to capture two buildings. He's going to get which one is this? The Workshop, which is going to be huge with that defensive bonus in the Spear Wall, and the Shrine as well. That will also be huge with the morale. He's going to have a big advantage in the grinded out battle with the boost to his morale and his armor. But look at this, punching right through this side, it seems to be Tree of Arbor. That uphill engagement worked out very well for him, and just smashed through this side, despite being on level footing in Chevrons. But again, the Katana hero, where is he? Right in the middle, just going to cut right through this Yari Ashigaru line. Still sitting at 30 men. Rally's been popped for Tree. If he can punch a hole through here and get to that general, Tree of Arbor will be in big trouble. The Bo Ashigaru is shooting as well, have a nice little firing angle being uphill um, into that mass that we can see of Indy Pride right there. That could work out very well for him, but unfortunately, he's got some cavalry around going into the Bo Ashigaru. This side's going to collapse here for Indy Pride, but if you can get a good cavalry attack off here, all will not be lost just yet. The morale's in the yellow from both sides here, kind of in the middle, but uh, Tree of Arbor is getting the worst of it with a cavalry attack from behind. I think if I were Indy Pride, I might want to pull out my cavalry now and try and get a big charge into the general. Uh-oh. The general's in danger here. The Yari Ashigaru have reached the general of Tree of Arbor down to 27 men now. If Tree loses his general, that could very much be game. Katana Hero pops his hold firm, but it's just about to wear off. And there it goes from the Katana Hero. There it goes from both sides, actually, have lost their hold firm. Warcry is active on Indy Prize troops here in the middle, and it's still fairly even. Uh, give the infantry advantage to Tree, but the cavalry advantage is still in Indy Prize's favor. He's going right into the Bow Ashigaru, trying to get these guys off the fields. They're causing probably very, uh, quite a bit of damage. I'll have to look on the post-battle screen to see how much they actually did, but uh, probably did quite a bit. Like how we're doing a good job, doing what they do best, killing these light troops, uh, getting a good charge off there, down to 75 men and wavering. And uh, units are routing here on both sides. Yeah, I'd definitely say the injury advantage is in Tree's favor at this point, but those light cavalry could turn the tide. There goes one Boashigaru, there's one left wavering at 66 men. There he goes. Now the cavalry is free. We can see some big charges here. This could decide the game. Indy Pride's got to use this cavalry wisely. He's got to make sure he catches them. There he goes. He's got his cavalry under control. Where are they going to go? Are they going to go into the general or try and hit the melee? Looks like they're going into the infantry line. Nice charge here, but hitting kind of his own troops there, so maybe not quite as good as it could have been. Unfortunately, Light Cavalry is not that great in melee. But look at this, a lot of in, a lot of Sir Tree of Arbor's troops have actually routed here on this side. Indy Pride manages to bring it back with another Cavalry attack from the Light Cavalry. He's got three Light Cavalry units already, one going into the General, and not getting off a great charge. Still 26 men sitting there at the General, but Tree of Arbor has actually lost this side of the battle. I thought he had easily won this side. I was focusing more on the other, but it was actually Indy Pride who managed to eke out a win there, but uh, Indy Pride, or Sir Tree of Arbor is going to win on this side, and he's going to get some reinforcers from the CR Ashgar, so it's all going to come down to this, cutting down to the wire. Naginata Monks have engaged the general down to 15 men now, Indy Pride still sitting at 30 and doing just fine. 
Cavalry's going off for the Boashigar, which is getting them off the field. They are wavering, and there they go. They have shattered. So they are out of the game. Now all three of Arb has left is a couple of Yara Shigaru. I'm counting three and a Yari Hero. General down to eight men now. Looks like the Naginata Monks will clean up the General down to six men in Wavering. Will this be it? If this General goes, Tree of Arbor will be essentially out of the game. Shattered, and there it is. Does have a little bonus, but they're Wavering. A big Cavalry Charge could seal the deal. Is Indy probably going to pull it out right here? Is he going to win the series and the tournament in this last few seconds of battle? Yara Ishigaru Wavering of 48 men here for Tree of Arbor, but managing to rally a little bit. Yari Shigaru is 70 men, Yari Hero at 3 men, and in yellow morale. Wavering on both sides, this is going to be close, but the cavalry pulling out for Indy Pride at 11 men. Big charge there manages to shatter one of the Yari Ashigaru, now down to two units left for Surgery of Arbor. It seems that the uh, two buildings for Indy Pride really did turn the tide of the battle, and it's very unfortunate for Tree that he had no response to that after he threw his cavalry away early to make that diversion. It may have worked out for him as he got the better positioning, but sacrificing those two buildings may have been the key to Indy Pride's win right here. The workshop and the morale, uh, the shrine, is probably what turned the tide of the battle in his favor. What we have left, Yari Shigaru is actually shattered 20 men. Just a Yari hero with three men who is wavering is all that's left of Tree's hopes of pulling this one back. And there it goes. Indy Pride has officially won the game and the tournament. Congratulations to Indy Pride. I will see you back on the main menu. And there you have it, folks. Indy Pride takes it back, coming from the losers, the losers bracket, winning that bracket, and coming into the grand finals down a series. Had to win two in a row against a very competent opponent, but he did it. Indy Pride is the champion of Fishy's March Madness of 2012. I'm just gonna take a quick look at the unit statistics uh, and see the kill. That's kind of funny. Indy Pride's general had one kill. I wonder who that was. Maybe Yari Shigaru was straight a little too close. Katana Hero with 113 kills. Wow, that Naginata Monk had 251. That Yari Shigaru there for Indy Pride had 205. Very impressive. Looking at Tree of Arbor stats here. One Yari Shigaru at 309 kills. Very impressive. Actually, the Boash Shigaru didn't really kill anyone. 7, 22, and 6. I thought they would have done a lot more damage than that, but I guess not. Yari Hero there with 29 kills for Tree of Arbor. Anyway, there it is. Indy Pride sweeps the second series two games in a row on Rice Field and Sakura Ridge against Tree of Arbor's tried and true Spear Wall and comes out the victor of Fishy's March Madness. It was six months in the making and I would just like to thank all the players for showing good sportsmanship, uh, getting their matches in. I mean it did take a while but with time zone differences I mean there was a lot of play there and uh, I would much rather have a tournament go a little long than to have to you know throw matches out because people are waiting too long so I certainly can't complain. It was a great tournament. I had so much fun watching all these matches and commenting on them. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching and sticking with me through this past six months. Didn't quite expect it to go that long, but hey, it was a great tournament. It was totally worth it. I had a lot of fun. Maybe I'll get myself back on the battlefield now that I've had a nice long rest of watching others play. I just had a great time doing it. I'd like to thank you all for watching, all 2,500 of my subscribers. It's just been a great time, and uh, I hope you go through and watch all the games of this tournament because there were so many good games even in the ones where you know there weren't marquee players but they're just every match had at least one game that was just amazing and worth watching and uh, I just had a great time and thank you all for watching thank you all the contestants and most of all congratulations to India Pride getting the gold medal here in two very stunning series victories against Tree of Arbor thanks for watching everyone